What's up guys? So I'm finally doing a helmet setup video. I've been getting asked about how I set my helmet up in the comments for forever now. Like so many people have asked me about it. It's kind of ridiculous that I haven't done one yet. So I'm finally getting around to it. So we'll start with the camera. It is a <clears throat> Hero 3 Plus Black. I actually like it a lot. I've had it for like a year and a half now. Never has given me any problems. Um, never crashes or malfunctions. It's been a really good camera. Film quality is good. And many people want to know how I have my camera mounted. And as you can see, it's right there on the chin mount. Which, note that not every helmet has a flat chin that you can mount it to right there. Only the answer helmets, really, are the ones that I've noticed have them. Um, so that's why I bought this, this helmet, is for that reason. Because I knew that I would want to use that flat chin mount. So I could have about as good of a POV, realistic POV view, as you can get in the video, as you can see. You can see the front fender, the handlebars, everything in front of me. You know, it's just like it's it's like seeing out of my eyes basically. So I really wanted to have the camera angle. Um something like that, you know, not something on the side or on the top of the helmet. I wanted it to be like you were looking out of my eyes, and I feel like this mount does that really well. To show you as an example, this is my other answer helmet, the one I'm, I wear when I'm not videoing, and look at that flat chin. So I could mount one, uh, a mount right there, like I'll show you my shift helmet, not flat, it's curved, if you can see that. See, flat, not flat. Could mount one on this one, so that's something I really like about the answers, and plus I think they're just... Answer makes great helmets in general, and they're just, I would like them no matter what, but it's just a plus that they have that, that flat chin. So how I have my microphone set up is I run it, well, let's see. There we go. Not sure if you can see that, but focus right there. I've got it just kind of taped right there on the side. <clears throat> and I've got it kind of, because the cord is super long on this particular microphone. Um, I've got it just tucked under, folded up, tucked under the cheek pad. And then it runs through here, taped right there, just to keep it kind of steady. Right there into the end of the camera, and it works pretty good. So my microphone is the Lavier, I think that's how you say it, microphone for GoPro. And I think this is one of the best and most expensive microphones you can buy for GoPro. Um, it was about $70 or $75 when I bought it uh, over a year ago. And I've never had any problems. The audio hasn't gotten any worse as time has gone on. So, been really happy with that. <clears throat> you can just buy them on Amazon. It's where I bought mine. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Not a, you know, super complicated setup. Just, you know, average GoPro, pretty good microphone, and some tape. That's all it is. So yeah guys, hopefully you found this video useful, and thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.